USDA reports food prices are rising more slowly this year when compared to last year, but those prices are something the government agency is investigating now. WRTV's Meredith Hackler tells us how a lack of competition may be playing into higher prices. Is, um... Ken Avador doesn't have a car, so when he does his grocery shopping, he loads it up in his cargo trailer. But he says his trailer is pricier to fill up with groceries than ever before. It's been very expensive and it's getting more so. You see, it, it happens incrementally, but it's, it's, it's a lot more expensive than it was a year ago and more and, and earlier. And he isn't alone in feeling the pinch. A year ago, you would buy groceries, you'd spend $100 and you have six, eight, ten bags. Now you're lucky you got three. Easily, you know, 50% on some items. You know, some items you just say, hey, I, I can't afford to eat that anymore. While inflation is a big factor in increased food prices, the USDA is investigating to see if there might be more at play. They're trying to see if a lack of competition is contributing to increased prices. What we've seen uh, is a long trend towards concentration in agriculture and food markets. Um, and by concentration, I mean we have fewer, larger firms operating at various stages of, of food uh, and agricultural supply chains. Joseph Belonctis says whether or not those concentrations are causing price increases is complicated. He says he's doubtful since these were happening before the inflation we're seeing today. However, if it is happening, it could potentially save consumers money. If, on the other hand, concentration is driven by and a competitive behavior where firms are trying to eliminate their competitors, um, then consumers and farmers can be harmed. While most of the shoppers we spoke with think this investigation is a good thing, others feel it likely won't help much due to other factors. Supply chain, all those other, uh, the, the pandemic. So I don't think it's going to really help all that much. Meredith Hackler, WRTV. The USDA is working with the state's attorneys general across the country to investigate this anti-competitive behavior. Indiana Attorney General Todd Burkita has signed up to take part.